did you have a good rest? Good morning, traveler. Jean, your clothes! Mm-hmm. My big si... Uh, <coughs> Master Jean said that this whole situation is more than we bargained for. Even if it feels like a vacation destination, our primary objective is to protect everyone. For safety, we changed back into our original clothes. I guess it does dampen the summery feel a little. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of things. <sighs> back to- You're too kind. Actually, I think we could learn a lot more from your talents. That's why we can place so much trust in you. We didn't want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from one of the other islands. I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. It must be Doro King! <sighs> Even Paimon's starting to believe that this Doro King might actually show up. I'm also keen to lay eyes on this so-called Dodo King. All of you, follow me. Let's investigate. Look! There are two figures over there! Hmm... Huh? It looks like... Hmm? Hmm? What the heck are they doing here? It's Kaya and the weird grown-up! Huh. I had no idea we'd run into you here. An unexpected pleasure. What are you two doing here? Huh? So it's not Dodo King? Hmm. Dodo King. Huh. So it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. What a coincidence. What do you mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. Wait, did you two sail here? How did you get past the storms and fog? Storms and fog? We must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there wasn't a patch of fog in sight. Now it feels like I'm on vacation. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. Huh? You mean Devalin carried you here too? You seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Wait, so everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. Oh, thank goodness. Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? I guess Devalin must be a die-hard fan of classical ballads. Wow! <laughs> I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting Grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting travel companions to you? <laughs> There were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. Various reasons? Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. <laughs> An incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary night. So, who were the two others? Albedo and Razor. You all came here for a vacation! Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? The mighty librarian Lisa, of course. Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. Thankfully, Lisa's there. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Ah, yes. That. I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact. While D. Luke believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. 
during our little... Hold on! How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps we're fated to be doomed together. Right, Master Diluc? <sighs> Is that so? Albedo is an alchemist, and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence did we change course and land here. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water that I took such effort to freeze. Who made Cryo and Pyro so incompatible? If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. Oh, so what I saw earlier was just steam from vaporized water? Pyron still can't tell if you guys are really close or hate each other's guts. Uh, regardless, things seem to be livelier now, which is good. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation. You two, please join our travels. Sure. But of course. Our top priority is to find Albedo and Razor. Do you know which direction they went? For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go look for him. Oh, this island is really big. Where could he be? Mr. Albedo! Is that the Traveler and Paimon? Whoa! He just came out of nowhere behind us! Who's Albedo? Hello, everyone. Hello, Klee. I thought that we might convene around this time. I trust you enjoyed your stroll. How kind of you to maroon us on that neighboring island. Oh, please don't mention it. I felt that the two of you could do some alone time. Albedo, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. They were all signed Dodo King. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master D. Luke says Dodo King? Everyone's letter was different. And yet all of them drew us to this archipelago. My letter was very simple. I have Klee. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh, that's blackmail! Dodo King's trying to coerce you! Correct. It would appear that I have been successfully coerced. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. <laughs> It would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Classic Kaya. Does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? Anyway, so what's your story, D. Luke? There is an Abyss Order stronghold among the deserted islands. Make haste. You have to admire their strategy. The right bait for the right fish. So strange. They're all personalized. But why did Dodo King gather everyone here? <sighs> this is indeed a mysterious case. I never trusted the letter to begin with. Yes. It would appear that the grown-ups among us came here primarily to understand what was behind the curtain. Uh, didn't Razor get a letter too? He did, though he couldn't read it. A certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. A kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman? On the way over? Oh, Paimon knows! Paimon knows! It must be Draft, right? The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The Red Bernie girl has gone to the islands. She needs help. Having heard the contents of the letters, it became abundantly clear that something wasn't right. 
I don't believe this so-called Dodo King exists, but there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. No, no! Dodo King is real! He's... he's Dodo King! <sighs> if you say so. Something caught Razor's attention on the journey over, or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. I've examined this island. His footprints are nowhere to be found. And there's no sign of a boat having left. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump, if he didn't land here, then he must have made his way over there. You've already been there? We were there a few days ago. There was a mysterious machine. Jean said that it came from Inazuma. Hmm. Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Everyone, let's head to the central platform. Look! Over there! Razor! Everyone, I am here. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? No need. Okay. I smelled something. This, give to you. What's this? Is this a part of the machine? Clear smell. Same as letter. Hmm. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. Oh, did Dodo King factor that in too? Also, this one and that one? <laughs> Same smell. Oh? This thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Here. Yes, I don't understand how. Traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Yeah, Klee trusts the honorary knight too. Not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? This Inazuman machine could well be something that Dodo King left here for us to find and activate. It might reawaken Dodo King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honorary knight, prepare yourself. We really wanted to meet Dodo King. That's why we came here, right? <sighs> Finally! Look, what's that? Are those crystals? Oh, let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, well, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant in Inazuman attire is a machine modeled on the human form. Was it built for fighting? Like ruin guards? I'm afraid so. It possesses significant combat capabilities and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuman origin. But... As far as I know, Inazuma is still under the Sakaku Decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. People? I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty, with only a few scattered remnants of the past. As for the crystals... Hmm... They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? That sounds like someone wanted 